Amaranthus flower, or what I can only assume that's what it is from a flower that I saw at Michael's in the silk flower aisle. I'm going to start using by using 26 gauge wire, cutting the 12 inch wire into about three pieces. Uh, again, not worried about if they're all the same length or not. Uh, and some butcher's twine. So butcher's twine is food safe. It's used to tie up meats. Uh, you're going to cut these in various lengths. So you're not worried if they all are the same length. You want them varying so that it gives more dimension and depth to the, fl to the floral arrangement itself. So this flower is an amazing filler flower. It allows you to create so much texture, dimension, and just um, eye candy within that floral arrangement. So taking some floral wire, sorry, taking your floral wire, your butcher's twine, and some floral tape, you just want to stick them together. So you just wrap the tape around, making sure that, that string is securely adhered to the wire. And just keep doing this to all of them, depending on how many you want, um, you know, Make sure you have enough wires and strings. Now, don't know if you know this about floral tape, but you do need to give it a little stretch to activate the stickiness. Otherwise, it's just basically paper. Just keep doing this for all of your floral wires and your strings until you have as many as you need. Now, these flowers, I'm doing them in like an off-white um, tan color because I actually just toasted coconut for it. Uh, but the coconut, if you wanted these to be colored, you could absolutely make these any color that you wanted. Um, if you look up amaranthus flowers, they are bright, vibrant colors as well. Um, reds and purples and, you know, so I because I already had lots of purple and things going on in this cake, I wanted to keep it in the whites and tans because I didn't want it to be too overpowering. Now, using some white chocolate that I melted, it's just white candy melts. Just make sure you get it nice and smooth. And again, some toasted coconut. So I'm putting it on a plate. It's actually a lid to a bucket because I'm obsessed with buckets and I don't throw them away ever. Um, you go ahead and you take your wires and your strings and you dip them down in the chocolate. Make sure you coat the wire. So you're just dipping the string. So once you have that dipped, put it in your coconut. Make sure you get it coated all the way around and then lay it onto an egg crate foam. This will just allow it to allow that chocolate to set and give it movement. Uh, otherwise, just going to, if you lay it on the table, it's going to be a straight line. Uh, that would stick off the cake, which is not what we want. We want these to have flow and movement and uh, as if they're free falling. So just continue this process for each one of your wires. Again, you can make these any color you wish, but I wanted the white uh, and the browns for this particular cake. You don't want too much chocolate on the on the string itself. You know, very little will do the trick. You just want to make sure you have it nice and coated and then make sure that you get that coconut completely uh, stuck to that chocolate. So speed this up a little bit because it's the same thing over and over again. Um, and then once you're done with all of your, once you're done with all of your flowers, you just let them set. Now this chocolate doesn't take long, you know, a matter of seconds. Uh, it will be set up because you're not, it's not a, such a thick layer. It's just a nice thin coat. So once you are finished, you just pick them up off your egg crate foam and you want to crack right where the string and the wire meet. This will allow you to be able to stick the floor, the flower into the cake and then have your amaranthus kind of hang down. And then I just set them into a foam, a foam cake dummy to put aside. Uh, these again act as a beautiful filler flower and are so quick and easy and they will have people talking. People will wonder what you did, how you did it, uh, and just simply think they are incredible. It's amazing what you can do with a little inspiration and a little creativity. Again, I came up with this just because I was in the flower aisle at Michael's, saw a bunch of these hanging down, and I was like, I need to somehow recreate these in sugar. So here they are. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, get out, explore, have fun in your kitchen, guys. You never know what you may come up with. It's been a pleasure showing you this today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.